Hello friends, this video statistics part 7 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched statistics part 1 to part 6. We have learned quartile deviation and range, but still we need something more. We need mean deviation. We find mean deviation about a point and that can the point can be any point. When I say that point can be any point, I mean to say that point can be any value in the data set. For example, you have value 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 12 and you want to find mean deviation for this. To find mean deviation, you have to first find mean deviation about the point. Because mean deviation term as such has no meaning. You have to always find mean deviation about the point. So I can pick 7 as a point and I can find mean deviation about 7. I can also pick 12 as a point. And I can find mean division about 12. I'll explain you how to find mean division, but just try to understand that mean division as a word is meaningless. You have to always find mean division about a point. Commonly used is mean division about mean and mean division about median. These are the two commonly used mean division in statistics. You generally find mean division about mean or mean division about median. Now the first question is why should we have mean division? When we have range, when we have domain, when we have mean, median, quartile range, why do we need mean division? I will take one example. So let's suppose there is a player and he has scored duck, zero, 0 run in first inning and then he has scored let's suppose 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, again 48, 49, 50, 51, 52. One more time, we will use the same numbers 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, and once he has scored century. Right? Or you can have more also. For example, in this case, let's take more, more values 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52. Here also 48, 49, 50, 51, 52. So if you see, n is equal to so in this if you see the maximum is 100 and the minimum is 0 but if you see in most of the case this guy has performed consistently only in one case in one inning he was having very bad luck and he was out in 0 and once he was having very good luck and he scored 100 points but if you ignore those two values he has generally performed consistently so what can you tell about this guy is, it, is this guy consistent or not if you take range, range here, here will be maximum minus minimum that is 100 minus 0 that is 100. So going by this I can say that this guy is not consistent because range is 100. The maximum he has scored 100 and the minimum he has scored 0. Correct. So range only is not the actual depictor of the information. That means with only range and median, sometimes we are not able to get the clear picture of the information. In this case example, if you see this guy, the maximum and minimum points are there, they are extreme values, but if you ignore the extreme value, other than that, this guy has performed consistently. So in such scenario, the range fails to give the clear picture of the data. And that is why we need mean deviation. I'll explain what is mean deviation. Mean deviation is nothing but a deviation from a point A, we'll find a deviation from point A, and then we'll add and take the mean. Commonly used mean division is you take the mean division about mean or mean division about median. I'll explain that. For example, mean division. So we have to find the mean division or the mean uh, about about the mean or median about the following data. The same data I have taken. Now let me find. So in case one, we have to first find the mean division about median. Here, I mean, actually the answer will be same because mean median are same. So let's suppose we have to find the mean division about median. So I'll write about median. And this is case 1, this is case 1 and this is case 2. So let me assume case 1. So that is mean division about median we have to find for case 1. So what is the mean median? Because we are finding about median so we have to know what is median. So median is 50. So what we do to find the mean division about median now to find mean division about median, we have to first get the median and the median is 50 here. 
Now we will find the distance between these points and the median. So distance between 48 and 50 is 2. That is mod of 48 minus 50. Why we are taking mod? Because distance is always positive. So we will take mod of 48 minus 50. That is. Similarly, the distance between 49 and 50 is how much? Mod of 49 minus 50. That is 1. Correct. Similarly, distance between 50 and mod of 50 minus 50. That is 0. So this guy is also 0. This guy is also 0. This guy is zero. And distance between 51 and 50 is how much? Mod of 51 minus 50. That is 1. Similarly, distance between 52 and 50 is how much? 52 minus 50 mod. That is 2. So now if I want to rough, write a distance. So instead of this value, I will find a distance first. Because we are doing mean deviation about median. So first find deviation about median. I will write deviation about median. So deviation about median is nothing but 2, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. Why, why I have written like this? Because for 48, the division was 2. For 49, the division was 1. For 50s, the division is 0. So 3 times 0. Again, for 51, the division was 1. And for 52, division was 2. This is the deviation about the median. Now we have to find the mean. Mean deviation about median. To find mean division about median, we have to just find the mean of these values. That is 2 plus 1 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 1 plus 2 divided by number of values. Number of values 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 divided by 7. And that is nothing but 2, 1, 3, 3 plus 3, 6 by 7. And that is our mean division about median for sample A. Similarly, let's find the same thing for sample 2. So I'll write about median and this time it is case 2. So for 0 we have to find the deviation about point 50 because here also the median is 50. That is 0 minus 50 mod and that comes out to be 50. Similarly for 25, it is 25 minus 50 mod. And that is also 50, 25. That way is 25. Third is 26. So 26 minus 50 mod. It is nothing but 24. And then we have 50s. 50 minus 50 mod. Because it is distance, so we will take mod. 0. And then 99 minus 50 mod. That value comes out to be 49. And the last is 100, 100 minus 50 mod and that value is 50. So this is the values we have got. So let's write now the deviation about median. Deviation about median for this case. So if you want to write deviation about median that comes out to be for 0 it is 50. So I'll say 50 comma for 25 it is 25. 25 comma for 26 is 24 24 comma 50 is 2 times for 50 it is 0 so 0 0 for 99 it is 49 comma 49 and for 100 it is 50 comma 50 correct that is deviation about median so now we have to find mean deviation about median mean of deviation about median to so find mean of deviation about median, what we will do? We will take the mean of this. Mean of this is nothing but 50 plus 25 plus 24 plus 0 plus 0 plus 49 plus 50. Whole thing divided by number of item 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 divided by 7. And that value is 198 by 7. And that is the answer. So if you see the mean deviation about median in both the cases different. In this case, it is 192 by 7. In this case, it is 6 by 7. So from this data also, we can say that this is more dispersed. So what we have seen till now? 
to find mean deviation about a point first you have to first fix the point for example we have found mean deviation about median so first we have fixed the median so we have the median then we have to find distance of all the data we have from this point so we have found distance of 48 from 50 49 from 50 50 from 50 51 from 50 and 52 from 50 first step is to find the point find the point about which you want to uh, find mean deviation second is find distance find distance for all other points points with respect to let's suppose point x this is point x with respect to point x and then that is nothing but deviation about the point and then you can take the mean so that becomes mean division about that point commonly uses mean division about median and mean division about mean here both are same actually so mean division about mean will also be same because mean is also 50 so the answer will come out to be same so that's how you find the answer you first fix the point you find distance about that point from other points and then you take the mean now we'll understand mean division for group data so group data are of two types one is discrete frequency distribution and the other is continuous frequency distribution i'll explain this thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again